I'm Ben from Cambridge Audio. We're known for making an awesome range of hi-fi products, but why do you need a DAC? A digital audio signal is a recreation of the original analog sound made by your favorite band or instrument. It's usually stored in a format like MP3, FLAC, or Apple Lossless. We then use a digital music player to play and listen to it. This could be a proper digital music player like our CXN. It could be YouTube or Spotify on your computer, phone or tablet, or even your TV. They're all digital sources. But before we can actually listen to it, the player needs to turn the digital audio back into an analog signal that we can actually hear. This is done by a DAC, or digital to analog converter usually built into the player. You do already have a DAC inside your player, but the DAC that's built into your TV, computer, phone or tablet is not optimised for great sound. It's designed to do a basic job on a really tight budget, so usually sounds pretty bad. So what makes a Cambridge Audio DAC better? Two big factors in what makes one DAC better than another are jitter and filtering. Jitter is timing errors in the digital audio signal. It's really bad for audio because our ears are very sensitive to these timing errors. So the better the DAC, the lower the jitter, and the better the sound will be. Filtering is a bit trickier to explain. It's generally accepted that we can hear frequencies between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. This is known as the audible band. When music is recorded and stored as digital music, the whole process of analog to digital conversion and sampling rates, etc., creates a big chunk of extra data outside of this audible band. This data needs to be cleverly filtered out, otherwise it starts to overlap into the audible band, known as aliasing, and messes up the sound horribly. Good filtering prevents this horrible aliasing effect, so the better the DAC, the better the filtering, and again, the better the sound will be. We build awesome quality Wolfson and analog devices DACs into our music players like the CXN and the 851N, so the filtering and jitter is far better than any cheap DAC in a TV or laptop. If you still want to use your TV or computer to listen to music, then you can use a separate DAC, like the DAC Magic, for example, to upgrade its sound. By making a digital connection from your music player, you can bypass its poor quality built-in DAC and let the separate DAC do the crucial digital-to-analog conversion in far higher quality.